so I just decided to give myself a challenge. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Sir the Turn, and I'm back with another video. And today I'm gonna find out if you can sew a pair of drawers in one day. This is a very arbitrary time limit because I don't really have anything I need to wear them to, but I don't know. I just kind of felt like doing it, I suppose. So, I have again this pattern that you've seen before uh, from Blackstone's patterns. And they have a pair of drawers right down here that I'm going to attempt to do in one day. So, I'm going to give myself a few rules for this. The first one being that I'm not going to do it in one day, like, straight. Because I have a job to go to, so I can't really sew for like 24 hours straight, no one can. But that will just not work. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to time, any time I sew on the project, I'm going to time it. And 24 hours is a bit too long, so I'm going to think that if you go up at 8, you go to bed at 8. It's not really true, but... So I'm going to give myself 12 hours. So any time I sew, I'm going to start a timer, and I'm going to add up the tally at the end. I also have already cut out the pattern pieces, because <laughs> I have, and I already have the fabric, and hopefully I have everything that I need. So. <laughs> This speedrun <laughs> is going to start by me just cutting out the pattern pieces. And my table is, or our table I should say now, is already occupied so I'm going to head over to the floor and start doing it. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, this is the best we're going to be able to make it. These are the pattern pieces. It's the fabric. Uh, it's really nice <laughs> bed sheets again. I'm hoping I can reuse this someplace. It's going. Oh jeez. Hey, this is so much bigger than I thought. Yeah, we're fine. It'll, it'll fit. Weights. Fingers crossed I won't get colour all over my stuff. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. I am too old for this. Ugh. Oh no. Oh, holy moly. No, I forgot to add in the snow. This is not how it was folded before. I just realized, I just realized I forgot to check that you actually need two of these and that they're not supposed to be on a fold. <laughs> the problem with doing stuff on a time crunch that you arbitrarily set for yourself is that you're doing it on a time crunch that you arbitrarily that you arbitrarily set for yourself. Let's have a look at that first, because I got a bit worried here. Cut two legs. Good. Cutting help lace trimming. Help lace trimming? The heck is help lace trimming? And this is waistband. I at least know what a waistband is. It's off on the leg. I wonder. I wonder if this is actually just the amount of lace you need. Well, we have piece number two. I think it's for the lace. So the first step is done. And that took me 14 minutes. <laughs> I think we're okay. Let's have a look at the next step, shall we? Drawers, cut out the lace to the length you need it and transfer marks to the top edge use pattern piece 7 as a template. I was right. That's just for measuring. Well, that's stupid, is it? Because you could just, well, never mind. 
uh, gather the lace along the top edge and line up with the bottom edge of the pants, matching all marks wrong sides together. Okay, so you can actually use the thing, but you need two of them. I think you can use this that we cut out to cover up the hems. So, the lace. For the lace, I have this <laughs> lovely, lovely lace. Oh, it's so pretty. That I found at my local sewing store. And I am so in love with it. It's so pretty. So I bought a lot so I can use it for another project as well later. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna... I'm not sure why you can just do this. Okay, that should work just as well. No battery! Well that sucks. That's gonna stop recording at any second. But I'm just gonna get this, pin it to the side of the uh, pants as indicated and pin it in place. <laughs> so I, I love that this is one pant leg. This is one pant leg. <laughs> it's very big. Let's see, this is the wrong side. And they're set to pin it wrong sides together. My camera overheated. I think... I still think the battery will die at any moment, but still. I just realized there are only six, six steps to these uh, drawers. I pinned the lace in place, the, the lace, the lace in place, except for here where I for some reason didn't pin. All in all, I have used about 35 minutes so far and next step is to just sew this in place and the gathers that I made are very, very, very imprecise, but okay. Let's sew the first part in place and then we can do the same once again. Yee! Hey! This is very low. Let me see if I can hide you. Well, the light here is awful. However, we're gonna keep going with the drawers and to do that, we're gonna start the timer again. Let's see. As you can see, it is still going. Since I'm not cheating <laughs> with my own arbitrary rules, I haven't down the machine. I need to change the press button as well. Happy days, happy days. So we're gonna attach the the, 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 the thingy to the thingy. It's not gonna be particularly even, <laughs> but uh, I don't tell you that it must be, so I guess it's fine. <laughs> when I'm at the pivot. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, not really. Uh, it's close enough, I suppose. This is bad. Now what you do is you take the facing strip and you, you take some sort of insertion lace or a strip of fabric or something like that and you add, you put it Have you ever had a dream that that you, um, you had you, you, you could, you do <laughs> And you put it on top of this edge here and stitch it in place <laughs> They actually specify how big the angles are at these little pivot thingies that I talked about before However, doesn't really say that much to me. So I'm just gonna wing it and hope for the best. And also, 
I'm sorry, I, I feel like I'm looking everywhere but the camera. It's because I'm trying to find, at the same time, I'm trying to read and I'm trying to find the piece of um, fabric or a strip of fabric or whatever you call it that I was intending to use. Let's see. This is more difficult than I thought it was going to be. I'm not sure how to make the turns look nice. But we're getting there, maybe. It's um, something else. I managed to get these corners. Surprisingly even. I can see that I need to redo a bit here though because I ran out of thread. Um, so I'm just going to stitch that down. But here, it's <laughs> very crinkly and I don't know how not to make it crinkle. But we're going to do the exact same thing to the other leg, pant, pant leg. And it's been 1 hour and 17 minutes, so I, we feel pretty good here. Uh, after that, we're going to close the pant legs that to get the crotch to remain open you're only gonna stitch here you could also just make it with a close crotch but that seems like cheating somehow <laughs> okay we'll keep going and we'll see so first off i'm a hundred percent getting a cold as we speak <laughs> i felt it like i woke up with a sore throat and i felt it sort of creeping on this entire day so I'm just hoping that I have some sort of energy left to potentially finish off my project. Um, so if I look a bit uh, dead, it's because I'm just... I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, uh, so to speak. Anyway, I, I don't remember what the last thing I said to you guys was, but we have made some progress uh, with the drawers. Namely, <laughs> I actually ripped apart this seam um, that connects uh, the pant leg um, because I realized that this here is really thick so doing um, a normal felt seam would be way too bulky especially if you want to do just one not two so I redid this entire seam I ripped it apart and I did it again as a French seam uh, as you can see maybe if I do this so it's now a French seam uh, what I did next, and where we're at now, is I've just, to the right side of the uh, pant uh, crotch <laughs> area, I've pinned this twill tape. So we're gonna stitch this down, then flip it to the inside and fell into place. And that's how you do if you want to make an open crotch, which I decided to do, because why not? Uh, if you want to do a uh, not open crotch, you just sew the pants together instead. Yeah. I also want to say, when I did the restitching of the pant leg, I forgot to press the timer on my phone. We are currently, we're currently at 2.15. I would say it probably took me about 20 minutes uh, to rip apart and re -sew. So I'm gonna, but I'm gonna be mean to myself because I forgot to record. So at the final tally, I will add 30 minutes. However, since I gave myself 12 hours and I'm not even at three and what's left is just stitch this, flip, fell down and then attach the um, waistband and just sew like this much together at the front and back of the pants. I don't think that half hour is going to make that much difference unless I fork up a lot on the next step and given the fact that I'm so tired and just feeling, uh, you know, I think you can even see it in my face. Oh, I'm also very shiny. So this is going very well and it's going very fast, which is nice because underwear and the underpinnings and stuff like that, it's not the most interesting things to sew because it won't be visible. So no one will see it. I just read the instructions. 
I'm sorry if it's wobbling a little bit, I'm trying to hold you guys with one hand, so it's not going terribly well. But now that I've finished the uh, twill tape adventure and I've felt it down, it took quite some time because the fabric was surprisingly difficult to stitch through. Now you're supposed to overlap the center front <clears throat> with about a centimeter and then stitch together for 10 centimeters. Which makes sense, that means the uh, legs won't slide apart. But you're only supposed to do this at the front, not at the back, so it will be open all the way up the butt. I didn't expect that. I am not sure how I feel about that. Hello! <laughs> first things first, I have a cold. I've had a cold for like a week. And this is the first day that I've sort of been able to speak, although my voice is not good and I'm gonna keep this short to stay silent as much as possible. However, as you can see here, my drawers are actually done. <laughs> and I did film this very beautiful reveal. So now my voice is back and you're gonna get a voiceover. So as you can see, I'm trying it on with the chemise and just to show you, I am wearing shorts. I don't want to flash anyone. Great, let's put the drawers on. First off, let me tell you, it was kind of weird feeling, as you can see on my face. And it was kind of difficult to actually tie it around your back when you're wearing the chemise. So it took me a little while to get that right. What? I really like them. They're comfortable, <laughs> just checking how they fit, and yep, I really enjoy them. A lot. Then I turned around and my brain just went... I tried fixing this for quite some time, but I didn't have much success. So in the end, I just accepted it as part of the outfit and I moved on with my life. With the chemise down as it's supposed to be, you hardly see them anyway. You can move them, they're comfortable. Great. I filmed this as I was just about getting sick and I thought it's not gonna be much so <clears throat> I can just film this and then do a voiceover but then my voice just got worse and worse let's first check the time when I stopped the clock it said 5 hours and 10 minutes I would say that it's probably closer to 5 hours 30 minutes because I missed pressing the button a few times so to be fair I think it's a little bit longer <laughs> but it's still not very long it was such a fast thing to make I think that's one because I did most of it on the machine uh, but also there are only I think three pieces like there is the waistband and the two pant legs and then you have some twill tape and some uh, I had like some nice little fabric at the bottom and some lace but there really isn't much to it and I must say they are super comfortable uh, they are a bit more um, revealing than I, than I thought they were gonna be I think that's just because of my body shape but I really like them I think they look really cute and they as I said so comfortable especially when you wear them with a chemise I just put them on this mannequin now for this movie <laughs> Looks kind of stupid because they don't fit that type of mannequin. So that looks silly. I also had to use a red thread just to tie because I didn't have a good thread at the time. Now I do. So I'm going to change that for some white cotton thread. Anyway, I'm going to start talking now before my voice gives out again. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, give us a like, subscribe and all of that jazz. And I'll see you guys next time. We're going to start tackling the skirt. Bye. Hello, computer. <laughs>